We're looking at the contents of a folder using code, using app script, iterating through all of the files within a folder, and then tracking them into a spreadsheet, getting the name, the ID, and the file size. Also looking at how we can create files using the document service, and just a couple different examples of creating files, and then adding it into a particular folder. In order to list out the files from a particular drive folder, we need to get the drive folder ID. And this is available. Easiest way to go is to go over to the drive and then just within the web URL, grab the last characters there after the folders slash, and that will be the folder ID. So this is going to be this thing out, data folder and getting the data that's currently within the folder. So let's just set this up as a string value for the ID of the folder. And then we want to list out all of the folder contents. So let's uh, get the folder as an object. And this is where we use the drive app service. And we get the folder. And there's, you can also get files by ID. So we want to get the folder by its ID. And this will give us a folder object that we can work with. And in order to get the files that are contained within the folder, we use the folder object that we just referenced. And we can use the get files. So this will give us a listing of the files that we currently have within the folder in the folder and that gives us the file iterator which is going to be the contents of the folder so those are the two files that we have there so for the iterator in order to go through all of the current files that we have we check to see if it has a next so this returns back a boolean value whether it has a next file or not and in order to take a file out of the iterator, we use the files next method, and this will take the file out. And then here we've got some information that we can get on the file. So we can update some of the files, we can get the ID, we can get the name. So let's grab the name of that file and run the code. So there's our two files that we have. Uh, so if we were to create some new files, and I'll just show you a quick way to make some files within the folder. So if we want to create a doc file, you can use the document app service and then create, and that will create a brand new document. And when we run the new files by default, it will create it on the root folder. So we want to put, actually put it within that main folder that we just created. So there's the new doc. So we want it to go into that uh, folder that we have. So let's go back out and we're going to need to have the folder ID for this one. And we need to have the file ID. So let's uh, grab all of this information. And that's going to be the folder that we want to place it in. So we're going to need the doc. And we can get this from the get ID method. So next we want to get that file. And the file that uh, we're getting is going to be using the drive app service. And we can open the file by ID and get the... So now we need to select the file and we can use the drive app service and using the get file by id this is where we can use the doc id and that gives us the file object that we just created the brand new file and now we can take that file and use the move to method in order to move it into a folder so let's see what that looks like and that should take the file create the file and then move it into the folder so when we go back into the folder, we see that now we've got the new file that's been added and moved into there. Chain some of these together, some of this functionality to make it a little bit easier. You can do it within less statements if you want. So there's the folder and uh, just identifying the folder. So we're creating a new doc. We can also update some of this here, remove out the doc ID and save it. And this, uh, we'll just call this new files too and give it a different name of two. So new files two. It'll do the same thing, except uh, just shorter lines of code and it's a little bit chained together there. So going into the folder, there's our second doc that we've just created. So now let's uh, list out the folders. So the all of the files that we have, so we can go through the data folder again. And we've got four files in there now. So let's grab those files and we're going to add them into the spreadsheet. And we can do that within the same data folder structure there. So we want to select the sheet that we want to add it into. 
and let's uh, call this, we'll call it files, and it'll list out all of the files within the folder. So grab the ID of the spreadsheet that you want to use in order to put the content into there, and I'll just uh, have that as another string variable here, and I'll call it SID for the spreadsheet ID. And then let's uh, get the sheet, and we'll get the sheet as an object. So using the spreadsheet app service, we can open by ID, and this is where we use the spreadsheet ID, and then we can get the sheet by name, and then the sheet that we've got is just named by files. So that allows us to select the sheet object, and here we can then take the sheet and we can append a row, and this is going to be expecting an array. So each one of the items within the array is going to be within a new column. So here you can list out whatever the file information that you want to list out. So you can do the file name. You can also just do any one of the other values there that we have for the file and any other information that you want from the file. Also get the size of the file as well. So we get those three parameters there and we're going to add it into the spreadsheet. So let's run the function. And then there's our information that we have for the sheets. So there's the document names, the IDs, and then we've got the size of the documents. 